is going on guys john here for another food review and today we are checking out the a1 smoky tender crisp sandwich from burger king let's go oh uh, yeah can i please try that new a1 smoky tender crisp with no tomato just the sandwich Anything else for you? That'll be it. Very much. Have a nice day. Am I good? All right. Thank you. Alrighty, let's eat. Alrighty, guys. We are parked. It is time to check out this A1 smoky chicken sandwich. We got some napkins, and we ooh, it smells good already. Have the sandwich. Pretty, pretty hefty, but honestly, feels kind of light though. A little light in the loafers on this sandwich. So here's the sandwich. Let me get you in here for a close-up. All right, guys. Here we have the sandwich. Little mayonnaise, bacon, lettuce, bacon, chicken. I don't see any A1 under there. And I don't see any A1 here. Uh-oh. Someone's about to get it. I'll be back in a second. All right. So we are back. We got the correct sandwich. Uh, she just had rang it in wrong. No big deal. So let me get you in here for a close-up of the right sandwich. All right, guys. So we have cheese over there, the chicken, cheese over here, tons of A1 sauce, lots of lettuce, and a lot of bacon. So, I mean, it looks kind of messy, but at the same time, it looks really freaking good. So let's try it out, guys. All right, guys. The smoky A1 tender crisp from Burger King. Let's try it out. Mmm. 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 Wow. It is good. So fresh. I've never really been one to use A1 sauce on my steak. I don't really use it on anything, really. But this is definitely a unique taste on, like, fried crispy chicken to put A1 sauce. Interesting. Mm. It's a nice bun, too. Definitely an upgrade from their standard sesame seed. Look at that. The sauce, the bacon, the cheese. Oh, my goodness. The texture of the chicken is interesting because it's not quite processed along the lines of a McChicken where it's just a patty. And it's not quite along the lines of a premium, fully striated chicken breast. It's kind of like cutlets and little chunks of chicken, high quality chicken, patted together. So instead of like finely ground, so it's almost like chunked and then pressed. It's, it's interesting. It's a nice middle ground, I guess. All right, guys, well, the smoky A1 tender crisp sandwich, it was delicious. Uh, it was a big chunk of chicken. Nice and crispy on the outside. Like I said, it wasn't the premium of the premium chicken, but it wasn't the garbage patted either. It was kind of this middle ground. It was like, instead of a nice chicken breast, it was like chunks of chicken breast patted together, which sounds weird, but it, it wasn't bad. So I'm just glad that it wasn't completely patted if you're paying over $5 for a freaking sandwich. But anyways, so it had two slices of cheese, which is great. I love cheese. Uh, the bun was nice. It was definitely an upgrade from their sesame seed bun that you can just kind of smush into like a marble size because of how airy it is. So the bun was definitely an upgrade. Um, the A1 sauce was more barbecue-y than I remember. I mean, I don't know if they use just straight up A1. They probably sweeten it up because it's fast food. But it almost tasted like a sweet A1 mixed with barbecue sauce. So, but nonetheless, it was good. It had the smokiness. It had the sweetness. It was pretty tasty. So, a lot of good quality bacon. The chicken was decent. It wasn't amazing. It was decent. Uh, cheese and that nice bun with some lettuce. Overall, a solid, tasty sandwich. Just the only downfall, I mean, it was, it was like almost six bucks. It was $5.89 for a sandwich. I mean, you, you really need to knock it out of the park for $6 for a fast food sandwich. $6. When there's such options as the dollar menu at so many other places. So, it's like, you want to do a 600% price increase from what people go to fast food for, you're going to need to have a killer sandwich. And this was not a killer sandwich. So overall, guys, it, it was tasty though. So overall, guys, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for the BKA1 Tender Crisp Sandwich. Pretty good, just a little pricey for 
what it is. So there you have it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.